I'm actually really excited to do this video. Hello, my beautiful family, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Liana, and thank you for clicking on this video because today we are gonna be talking about something that is very exciting, and we're speaking about Ramadan, which is literally tomorrow. Well, it's not tomorrow now, but like, as I'm filming this video, it's gonna be tomorrow when it comes out, so it's, it's literally tomorrow. It's exciting. It's also nerve wracking because during Ramadan in Islam, it's a time where Muslims focus on their faith, but then sometimes that can mean not prioritizing other things, which is the misconception in my opinion, because while you can focus on your faith and getting closer and taking that next step in your religion, that doesn't mean you have to give up on your healthy eating habits, your fitness goals, or even just your day-to-day -day life and focusing on your work. You can turn those things into acts of worship. Your body is a gift. And if you don't take care of your body, then indirectly, you're lacking something that is a blessing of yours. So you have to think about fitness during this month because it can be challenging, especially healthy eating habits during this time, and think about it as an act of worship. So let me just start off with what exactly is Ramadan? Ramadan is a holy month of the religion in Islam. It's a month where we prioritize our faith, which we already do, but this is a time where we are fasting, which means no eating from sunrise to sundawn. And we're doing this for 30 days consistently. No water, no food, no gum, nothing throughout the day. And this month is not only about fasting, it's about increasing your character, being kind to others, giving to those in need, and not only money, it's acts of charity that can be smiling, that can be helping out other people, that can be calling a loved one and checking in on them. It doesn't only mean charity as in giving money. This month is also about discipline, self-control, and genuinely building your physical and mental strength. This is not an easy month, but it is a life-changing month for you to only become stronger in your faith, but also just as a person. Now, why is Ramadan so important for Muslims? I wasn't always wearing the headscarf. I've only been wearing it for a year now. It'll actually be a year in Ramadan. Ramadan was the month for me to take that next step in my faith and get closer to my religion. So if you are practicing Islam, or maybe you're not even practicing Islam, this is a month for you to take the next step in your faith. So whether that's like trying to increase acts of prayer, or maybe it's getting closer to modesty, whatever that is, this is the month for you to take that next step. And it's a beautiful month. So it's very important in Islam, and this is a very holy, holy month for us. What are the things that you have to do during Ramadan? So, like I mentioned, fasting from sunrise to sundawn, increasing acts of prayer if you can, or if you aren't consistent with your prayer now, trying to stay consistent with your prayers and doing those five daily prayers. Also, no backbiting or talking bad about other people, no disrespecting people, not giving into your sexual desires while you're fasting, and also not giving into bad habits. So this is really acts that are just gonna help you improve in your discipline and being a good person. It's genuinely like really just about being the best person that you can be and all these acts are gonna help you do that. And I believe that music is not allowed in Islam. So while you're fasting, I highly recommend you do not listen to music. There's a difference of opinions on this one point, but I like to go with the majority of opinions and I do not listen to music, personally, especially during this time. That's my take on it. Obviously, you can do your own research and feel what is best in your heart, and God willing, you will have the best of knowledge, and yeah. Now, this is a message for those that are trying to participate in Ramadan, but you are using this as a time for you to build in your own faith or your spirituality. This month, is going to be challenging. It is going to be challenging, but this month is going to help you build so much discipline and mental strength that you have never gotten before. And I promise you, you're not gonna have another month where you can fast from sunrise to sundawn with the 
large group of people that are going to help you feel inspired to stay consistent while literally being able to still focus on your work and maintain those healthy habits that you want to stay consistent in. So this time is really going to help you become mentally and physically stronger. Now let's get into the times when you break your fast and when you start your fast. So in Islam, we have five daily prayers. And the five daily prayers, the first one is Fajr. The second one is Duhr. The third one is Asr. The fourth one is Maghrib. And the last one is Isha. So we start our fast a little bit before the first prayer, which is Fajr. And we break our fast on the fourth prayer, which is Maghrib. So those times are the times that you're gonna stick to when starting your fast and when breaking your fast. And whenever you eat is going to be a little bit before Fajr, which is called Sahur, is whenever we eat and we drink lots of water, especially at night, you can also drink water and eat lots of foods that are gonna help you stay full throughout the day. Remember, it's about quality food, not quantity. And eating foods that are high in fiber, high in protein, and also being hydrated during this time. So that is the main important thing, and those are the times for Ramadan when breaking your fast and when starting your fast. Now let's talk about routines. Routines in Ramadan can be all over the place if you don't have a plan. And I have actually been doing a Ramadan plan for the past two weeks because last Ramadan, I stayed up throughout the night and I slept throughout the day and I didn't maintain any habits, not healthy eating habits, not my fitness goals. Everything was a mess. Although I did prioritize my faith, everything else went on a decline. And that's not how Ramadan is supposed to be. You are supposed to be able to maintain your day-to-day -day life while still prioritizing your habits so you feel strong leaving this month and not feeling weaker in your goals. Now, when creating a routine during Ramadan, I want you to plan everything around the five daily prayers. So when you wake up, when you go to sleep and your work, but you have to make sure that it is around those five daily prayers. Otherwise, things will get a bit hectic. Whether you're practicing or you're not practicing, those five daily prayers, you can use them as meditation blocks. You can use them as five to 10 minute breaks throughout your day for you to just step aside and have that as an outlet in the world for you to just calm yourself down. It's really being able to disconnect from the world, calm down, breathe. If you're feeling anxious, you can just relax yourself and then you go back to the world. But those five daily prayer times are times that you have to plan your routine around. So for me personally, I feel like there are three times to train. I don't recommend training while you are fasted. That is just a personal preference for me and because of health hazards. So I highly recommend not training while you are fasted, but if that is the only time then you can do so, then that is up to you. So the three times that I recommend to train is before Fajr, so before the morning, before you can stop eating and stop drinking, preferably around that 4 a.m. mark is when you should train. If you are training in the morning, 4 to 5 a.m. or you could even do 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Now, when you're training at night, you could either train when you break your fast, you could break it with a date and some water or a protein bar and some water and then train. So you are actually being able to be fueled for your lift or you can train after you break your fast and let your body digest the food and then go to the gym after you have broken your fast. So those are the three times that I recommend training. Please do not train while you're fasted because it's just, I've tried it. I've tried it and it's not good. Now your routine is gonna be different from mine. Otherwise I would give you a full routine if we had the same schedule, but our lives are different. So. I want you to plan out your day around the five daily prayers, choosing a training time that is realistic, and also writing out your non-negotiables for this month. My non-negotiables for this month is going to the mosque once a day. It's training. 
It's reading 10 pages of Quran after every single prayer. It's listening to an Islamic lecture. It's maintaining my healthy eating habits. And it's also seeing my family once a week. Those are my non-negotiables. Now you have to figure out what your non-negotiables are and make sure that it is realistic. And now a lot of us will cut out fitness during this month, but you have to think about fitness as an act of worship. Like I said, an act of worship to move your body and take care of your body and your health. Hopefully that helps you plan out a routine. If not, let me know in the comments below and I will, I will respond to your comment and help you out during this month, God willing. Now, if you feel like you don't know how to train in Ramadan, do not worry because I've got you. Last year, I created a Ramadan plan and so many of you all loved it. So this month, we are gonna be doing a Ramadan guide together. Whether you wanna train from home for more convenience or you wanna train in the gym, whether you are a beginner or you are already advanced in the gym, I have specific guides written out for you. Three day guides or five day guides and also meals that are also gonna help you stay consistent with your healthy eating habits. These are new meals. Some of them are very cultural and more Palestinian focused dishes. And there's also more meals that are high protein that are gonna help you for sahur, which is whenever you are going to be eating in the middle of the night, and for iftar, whenever you are breaking your fast. Not only that, because Ramadan is such a holy month, I have found habits that have genuinely helped me that I know that will help you get closer to your faith. So in the habit tracker and uplift you, you're gonna be able to choose from my chosen Ramadan habits that will help you impact your Ramadan, God willing. So a little bit about the training programs. They are not very long, so I'm not gonna have you in the gym for two hours. They are hypertrophy focused for you to maintain your muscle. And that is a challenge during Ramadan. So that is why you've got the high protein meals and everything to help you stay consistent. And it's very low intensity focused training, just so we can focus on our faith, but also maintain our fitness goals. So I'm very excited for you guys to have everything. And I hope I covered majority of the things in Ramadan if you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments below. I am just open to hearing everything that you have to say or what you want to know. And God willing, I will respond to as many comments as I can. So this month is such an amazing month and I cannot wait for all of us to get closer to our faith and our spirituality. I pray that this month is an amazing month for all of us where we stay consistent in our goals and we feel like we have improved in every single aspect of our life after this month ends. So if you want to stay consistent with your faith and your fitness while maintaining your healthy eating habits, then Uplift You is also going to be 25% off. And I cannot wait to do this together. I'm very excited. And yeah, make sure you subscribe because we are going to be posting Ramadan routines as well. And I'm going to also be like training during Ramadan and sharing it with you guys. I'm actually very excited for this month because there's going to be a lot of Ramadan specific focused content. So um, I'm sending you guys so much love and blessings on this Ramadan. Make sure you prepare, play on your routines and get ready for this month so we can have an amazing month together. So um, I will see you guys in the next week's video and I love you all so much. Mwah.